Hi guys, what's up, Nathan here, and today I'm going to be re-uploading this video, well, by the time you see it, it'll be new. If any of you have seen this video before, it's the wrong one, I'm really sorry, I didn't even show you harvesting, so hopefully that shouldn't be bad. This is my auto-harvest farm, and I'll be showing you how it works, and everything, just basically how you do it. So you start here, and there is a map of it, nothing looks special, only a small one which says, you know, where you are, so you have the black dots which represent the water suspensers, the red dot is where you are, and the yellow is the auto harvest button. Do that one. Yes, sorry about that. Let's begin. Um, iron doors, white wall to mix in with the kind of farmy. And first of all, you have to. You should be reversed. You actually have to go to the free water dispensers and release the water. You then plant the crops that you're doing. You then have to go to the auto harvest button, harvest it, pick pick up the items holding the pressure plate, and then collect crops and repeat. But you can change which one you do. It's better to do like the order. Let's go. Iron door buttons. Come on, yeah, yeah. I made this out of glass because, as you can see, the farm. So it's, I like how I've done it. You literally go to each water dispenser and you simply flip a lever. It will fire. It might miss. It depends. Most of the time, it gets its second attempt or first. It will hit a pressure plate. Come on, it worked fine last time. This is just being bad now. That will work. Yeah, as you can see, it will flood the water. It doesn't really matter. Like I said it's a sapling. I use it. I can use anything you want. It's just a basic design. Instead, you go here, do it again. Oh, it's because I was behind the dispenser. And I do it a couple times because I cannot even see if it's doing it this time. Yeah, so yeah it has. It's flooded. That probably did be the first time. I always do it. I always do it at least three times to double check. And you go here, and third water dispenser's here. And you can see this is what it looks like. And you plant your crops there. It's a bit annoying how it requires walls, why not? You have to, but yeah. I think that worked. I'm just gonna fire say another one just to double check. There we go. So now the water dispensers have been released, so you only have to do that if you keep in this and you're actually using this, you only have to use it once. It's only just to start the whole kind of process up. You can go and plant your sugar cane. So you go to this area called the seeding area. If you can't see it, it's really weird because it's just glass. And then just um, go. So I think I've done the pistons going this way. And this does require pistons if you're trying to do this on Xbox. Yeah, they're probably away, but not with pistons is like the most efficient way. So I'm just going to plant some. And I said you can plant it. You can, you can plant sugar cane really high. So if you want to do and you have pistons, I just couldn't really bother to say I'm probably not going to use it, it's only for showing you. You can make it as high as you want or high as sugar cane grows and then just like five pistons and up. You know, and harvest it all. And I said it is actually really efficient because I said the only job you have to do is do that, and then you just say you planted a whole row of sugar cane like that, and you know how annoying it is when you have loads. This is only a small design compared to that. All you have to do is that, and you go to this area, auto harvest button, make sure you release the water and plant crops, and then watch this. Instead of just having to click on all that, simply push, and there, look at that. I have to forget any out pistons there because that's separate. So about that. They get they get pushed they get pushed back in and then all the sugar cane gets dropped into the water just next to it. So you go down now. And yep, there you go. Just collect all the sugar cane. And then that's kind of really it. You can just repeat that as many times as you like. But then if you want to stop it, like say you just kind of want to stop the whole process of it you simply, I might make trying to find a better, better efficient way but what you have to do is go into the dispensers pick up the item holding it and it will shut the piston doors and shut off the water supply there so we do that over here pick that up and I think I really like this design, yeah, I worked on it for a bit and it's actually it's really fun making and fun just doing it. So that's the farm guys done. See it dries up the water and you can just turn them on and do it for as long as you want really. And if you have bone mill, just use bone mill. So guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that. This is the farm. Um if you liked it, give a rating, wouldn't mind that, and see you later.